And now, it's time for Rula and Ryan's Dare Dice. Dare Dice. Part two, where the consequences actually acted out. Rula lost yes. the Dare Dice. We could not have planned this better let's, because... Let's introduce our radio school kid mm-hmm. of the day. That would be Michael Villarreal, a.k.a. I call him Chicken Scratch, because I couldn't read his name on the card when I pulled his name. We had the radio school kids here for the whole week, and today we had the radio school kids roll the dice for us. Michael, you got a lucky number there. Yeah, that wasn't fun. Snake, snake eyes. eyes. That's to impressive. The and it's uh, fitting for what's going to happen. Yes, it really is. You, brought it all out, right, all like, right. you, said, you said you were like, uh, don't roll the snake eyes. I mean, that's bringing out the snake, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got that. And why do we have so, snakes here? Well, yeah, SeaWorld is here. Um, Brian and the, and the crew are here. Uh, Ryan knows them. He went to SeaWorld San Antonio over the weekend. Uh, and they over were the in weekend. Town. Like, first so, of all, this is a lot of fun. You know, I took my daughter there and got to see it. They had a baby beluga whale, which is really, really neat. Just gave birth to uh, a calf. And uh, Brian's there. And uh, you brought your whole crew, your friends here. And we got some really interesting animals. Rula's got a well, terrible and, fear and, of animals. And here's the thing: I don't want, I didn't want to see any of these animals, Brian, because I would like for the audience to live this with me. Sure. I, we've already talked about some animals you were going to bring, but I see a lot more like storage than what I've heard is here. So who knows what's going to happen? So tell us, Brian, how is this going to work for me and young Michael? Well, I'm going to introduce Missy, and she's going to explain it all to us. Okay. Okay, Missy. Missy. Hi, Missy. Hello. Thank you guys so much for having us. What we're going to do is we're going to help you make a connection with some of our animals. Sure. We have animal ambassadors Great. at SeaWorld who not everybody they're animals that not everybody expects to see. Okay. We have insects, oh we have reptiles, oh we have birds, Ugh. and we have mammals, but they all live on the land. <laughs> <laughs> now I didn't even and know yes, they I, do that. Sometimes. I didn't even know y'all had this and then I was uh, it's back by the penguins. Like Correct. when you go into SeaWorld, like I, I first I'll be honest with you, I love the roller coaster. Steel nice. eels like my favorite. And uh, but back by the penguins you've got this little area where it's not so little, but you've got mm-hmm. an area where you've got like Owls? Yes, snakes. we have absolutely. We have a building that is dedicated to our SeaWorld and Bush Gardens Conservation Fund. It's called the Animal Connections Conservation Center. And in yeah, that yeah, center, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, what the animals are. Are. <laughs> so we I'm actually like, brought you something kind of in between. Me. All right, you, you're really you're, you're ready for this. Me. All right, well, I have Anne Marie here with me, and she's going to introduce you to Bud. Look at Bud. Ooh, now, Bud. Bud. What kind of snake is that? Bud right, is right. a Colombian red tail boa constrictor. What He's only about six feet long. Long, weighs about 10 pounds Only. and is still growing. So you guys are going to conquer this right now. Now, all I want you to do is at least touch. We, we do the two finger rule with kids if you want. So you can touch. Okay. That's, that's. I'll be honest. It's most like people. Purse. Exactly. It's like shoes. Somebody's going to say shoes or purse eventually. So, but it is a lot of people have that weird thing with snakes. Maybe the no arms and no legs freaks you out. People think they're slimy, but are they slimy? No. She, she's doing the big hey, gulp. Rula. You're doing really good. Rula. Wait, wait, wait. Excellent. Rula. You're shivering. <laughs> it's right next to you. It's not. You're not even having to hold it. Anne Marie's doing all that uh, good hard work, keeping the oh, God, mouth gross. away from you. Oh, I'm something like, was gross. Something was like like there's like something throbbing in there. Oh, well, like, something well, it, throbbed it, in there. It's Lunch. alive. Something throbbed in there. So it, <laughs> something <laughs> something is throbbing in there. The snake is not throbbing. You're okay. I think it. I think it was your pulse coming through your fingers. You were just really overexcited about it. Okay. You did a really, really good job. Would you okay. like to meet something that's a little more furry and yes. fuzzy? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. I'm going to give way, this. By the way, well, we uh, it, it is a Rule and Ryan show on 104.1 KRBE, yeah, and it's the middle of the Dare Dice okay, Challenge. We have the radio school kids in here, so that's what you're going to hear a lot of background noise. We have oh, a lot of audience in God, here. Oh, my God. He's so cute. A lemur. Oh, God. Okay. We're, li- right. we're live on Ustream right now. Oh, Excellent. Well, you did a really, really adorable. great job. So now you get to meet the fuzzy and furry. This is Tafari. I'm going to get pooped on. You may get pooped on, I'll be honest. That's their job in the Madagascar rainforest, this is a critically endangered species. Oh, wow. Red rough lemurs, Madagascar, it's the only place you can find any species of lemur. Every one of them is endangered. So we're really lucky to have Tafari. He's a two-year-old. Okay. He so was cute. born at Bush Gardens in Tampa. Oh, Two cute. parents who have been around people their entire life. So what I'm going to have you do is go ahead and put your hand out flat. You're going to get to go ahead and have, let him Michael's, take a little bit from you. Good Michael's job. Job, what, what's, what's, what's his name? Tafari. 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 Yeah, no, t- t- Tafari. They're such interesting looking creatures because I goes really, oh, are they related God. to monkeys? Who's going for it? Oh. They are. They are technically a primate. Yes. They're called a prosimian. So they're a pre-primate. So I jokingly say they have monkey parts, mm-hmm. like thumbs on their hands and feet. Really mm. awesome tail in the back, you yeah, might long see. Tail, long but tail. they don't really have monkey brains, which is nice. Okay. Works out well for us. Okay. They are smart enough for what they need to do in Madagascar. That just isn't very much. So it works out well right. for them. It's great like ambassador. It's, it's kind of like, I'm going to pretend like I'm Jimmy Kimmel. And, <laughs> somebody, and, and they have brought us the animals to the Jimmy Kimmel show. So in my brain, I'm doing a national television show where 
I can't freak out. So I'm going to try to calm it down. You're doing you're it really, really well. Good. But that? I think that y'all you need just, to know my blood pressure right now. You, you, just, you just fed the lemur. What was it? It's, it's cute. Fine. Come it's on, fine. he's cute, isn't he? It's it's all good. I think he's they're, adorable. I think they're adorable. Right, Michael, the red, how do you feel, Michael? Michael, how are you feeling? The red that was, hair. That was the thing I've ever did. I mean, uh, <laughs> so oh, he's going to go back in. Come here. All right. So, so I'm going to let you go t- ahead and touch. Yeah, you got to touch him. Touch his tail. Okay, very soft. Kind of feels like one of those. Um, actually, kind of feels like one of those stuffed animals you get. <laughs> I feel like it is. It's like a real it's life stuffed soft. animal. To be yeah, honest, yeah, yes, they very much. They so, do like to move it and move it a little bit, but they prefer if people start it. So if you wanted to dance a little, that's all up there to you. There you go. We're listening. Dancing with it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> chicken, chicken scratch got some, he's got some moves so that's good but everything about them is built for living in the rainforest in Madagascar so they're up in the trees almost never coming to ground you can see their hands a lot like ours they have fingerprints just like we do they love to hang out they get tickled oh, with oh, do, you, do, you want, do you want him on oh, that's you? so cute okay. do you want he him can on sit you? right on your shoulder you want to try it? come on really? let's just do it one time so this is something that our campers get Here. to do at SeaWorld, so just put that out What there. are those little oh, Scooby God. snacks you're feeding him? <laughs> he <laughs> loves fruit. Little so fruit. apples, bananas, <laughs> kiwi, mango, <laughs> really, papaya. Uh, come on, Rula. <laughs> Good job. Rula, you have to try that. Rula, you right, got to let him sit on your shoulder. You ready, Rula? Rula. Rula. Don't freak out the animal, people. He's going to poop on me. All right. All right. I'm not looking at it. I'm not going to look at it. You're going to want to. He's too adorable. There you go. Oh, look. He's going to talk in the microphone. Perfect. Oh, God, oh, God. I can't love She held your hand a little bit. I think you guys are friends now. Aww. Okay, okay. <laughs> he's a redhead. As a red rough lemur, he's that Whoa, awesome red really color. Hyperventilating. There you go. You oh did so good. All right. Would you like to meet something small and cute? How's that? <gasps> we have a surprise for you. Oh, it's back. 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 It's ultra boom. He's a horny lemur. <laughs> I am not looking at it. I cannot take this right now. Thank God, God just, I am not pregnant. He just jumped like three feet on your boob. You oh. <laughs> well, they do They do like to grasp onto whatever oh. they can to make sure they stay where they are. So I, I'm, not, I'm not, it's not my fault if okay. they hold on to different limbs. But What's we brought something really there? small and cute. <gasps> this is Otis. Oh my God, he's oh, a little wow. baby. There you go. Otis is a Houston native. He was found by someone, Good Samaritan, injured in some way, and oh, the Wildlife so Center of Texas realized that this eastern screech owl could not be re-released. Now, wow. a lot of people ask if he's a baby. He's only about six inches from the top right. of his head he to the like tip of his tail. Right? But he's a full-grown adult. One wow. of the smallest which, species. Which, by the way, I want to tell everyone listening, because I know obviously it's not television. You can just hear my <laughs> insane reaction, which is not that insane, but you Doing can't good. hear I'm screaming on the inside. Uh, all this is being taped, and it's also live on Ustream right now. For, yeah, um, you can Kevin find said. that on, on at Radio Special K Twitter, the link. <laughs> yes, and uh, we'll, you know, this is all going to be at krbe.com later. Well, this this is like, very cute. It's kind of like Special K of our show. Now, is it cute, little, though, little where it like scratch your eyes out thing. and kill you cute, or like you don't well, know it's going to kill you not before necessarily. it kills you? This, this, he is a predator, but he's going to look for small insects, okay. rats, rodents. You don't look anything like that. Oh, so I God. think he kind of looks, he might wink a little, because he's like, hey, how you doing? He's they a good, big, guys. very they're, sweet they're, they're owl. They're like, uh, they're like cat eyes. Cute. Michael, what do you very think large. This, uh, What's it called? A small screech owl? A screech owl, yep. Yeah, that looks harmless, right, Michael? Yeah, yeah. You want to say that. But I think that Michael and I are like, oh, yeah, we'll hold it, and then it'll like, you know, rip our fingers off. Oh, no, no. That a glove is being worn. His name is Otis because you do usually look at him and say, Otis is so cute. Aww. But they are, they're cute. little. See, we try and that endearment cute. is going to make you feel more so are comfortable. Are we not supposed to touch that? He doesn't really appreciate it. As a predator, he is one that wants to kind of be standoffish a little bit, but he's closer than most people have probably ever come to an owl, okay, okay. and that's part of his job. That's As an cool. ambassador that you can come and visit at SeaWorld, you might not, if you were to ever look out into your backyard and have one with that awesome camouflage, looks just like the bark of a tree, you'd yes. never see him. You'd never but see if you him. come to SeaWorld, you can get up close and personal with our because, animal now ambassadors. Now, let me ask this question, because we have a lot of people in the studio. We've got you radio too. school kids. We've got, you know, of course, the whole Rule and Ryan Show team, and we've got a lot of people here uh, from your side. This does not freak out these animals animals that there's this many people in such a close it's a great question this is what they are this is their job so we work with them we desensitize them we have relationships with them we work with them every single day with positive reinforcement so that they are comfortable if we had ever anytime we feel that they're uncomfortable we make sure to take care of that now how the people feel i can't always make sure that that is taken care of i I, want to i want to state this real quick because when my daughter and i were were watching uh the whale yes and backstage, I mean, like, you could really, really see a love between the humans 
and, and the whales and the sure. and just all the. I mean, you really could see, and, and you know, because I think a lot of people <laughs> think, oh, you know, it's like you know how they train everything. There was just like absolute concern and care on both sides. I think so. And there's, it was yeah. really sweet. There's a lot of passion, I think, that goes into this job, and we have, like I said, the kids that come to SeaWorld and participate in SeaWorld mm-hmm. camps. When we go out to maybe Camp Humane and talk to them or schools. A lot of kids are like, oh, you have the coolest job. It's so glamorous. It's so amazing. But you have to do it because you love it. Because literally, right. my day starts with poop, and ends, ends with, with poop, poop, and there's a lot of poop in between. Yeah. It's but, not kids. It's all animals. And it's, yeah, it's not my three kids at home. So it's these animals. radio school is, is there, too. Is there one, well, there you go. <laughs> is there, so we've had a snake. We've had a lemur. We've had an owl. Is there anything else real quick before we wrap up that just you want to show us? We just wanted to make sure that you, you had that mumbles. full reptile, mammal, and bird experience. That's cool. But if you ever snake want robbing. to have more, you got to look at SeaWorld.com. Make okay. sure you... you Rula need to come to see you. Yeah. Expo- experience a little bit more. You probably need to get in a wetsuit and get in the water oh, with God a sea lion America. or yeah. a beluga whale. <laughs> Put on the parka, go in with the yeah. penguins, actually have one of our awesome interactions and have a really great time. Let alone maybe uh, meet one of our, our African crested porcupine, wallaby, really spoonbills, awesome animals. My brother in law did the uh, penguin mm-hmm. tour. Yes. Uh-huh. The penguin like bent over and peed on him. It was great. Oh, no, he pooped great. on him. Come on, Rula, yeah, it's, a li- it's a little There's bit this. projectile from the yeah, penguin. So they definitely. Really have a shooting going on. I made it through this without poop on me, Michael. Did you have something you You're doing to add? excellent. Uh, how long does it take you uh, to like train the whales? That's a really great question. And the whales that we take care of, we are working with them from the very moment that we start. The mm-hmm. moment that they are born, the people are working with them. So they are out right now, those baby belugas that were born, the people are around them. They're with the mom. The mom is showing them that the trainers are where we get food. And so we provide that care from the moment that we start interacting with I actually with watched that. Uh, yeah. My daughter and I were there the day that the baby was born. <laughs> yes. And the next day we were watching y'all feed it. Right? And it it's was, an amazing thing. It was really, thing. really amazing to yes. watch. Okay. Rula, we have I'm some awesome stuff. Rula, even when he went and grabbed your boob, that was, <laughs> you didn't freak out. That would have been... Oh, God. oh, Tafari. Good job. Oh, right. you goodness. You know, look, for some people, this may not have been exciting for you because I didn't lose it, but you have no idea the hell I've just lived because, you know, oh, come on. it's fine. Um, I now we actually, have to hear about this really all day. Nice. Oh, thank you. No, I'm glad you, nice. you followed up with the nice part. I That's think, good. No, I think it was nice thank because you. Um, the, look, the owl, that wasn't a poop, right? <laughs> it, well, we call it fertilizer, but you call it whatever you need to. Maybe it was a poop. Was I don't know. Maybe a poop, but um, no, that's really yeah. fantastic. And it's not, uh, it's not anything... That, it really, I shouldn't have been scared because obviously I got the best kind of dare dice challenge. I really did because Good. these animals, like you said, they're, they're beautiful. They understand. Thank you. They're around people all the time. It's yes. fine. I'm just. We would never bring anything that you're going to have to worry you know, about. It's just all good. In a regular <laughs> One time, day. an owl <laughs> tried to eat my dog. I have a little dog, about yes. nine pounds, and it swooped down and tried to take it away. So but, I'm very, very terrified of owls. It's almost as tall as me. Oh, it is. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> it's short. three inches tall. <laughs> oh, oh, the worst, the worst. Thanks oh, for coming in. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you for having so me. Having us so much. much. Yay, Michael. Michael. We appreciate it. Woo, Good C-Rod. job. Yay. Yay for dear dice. Never so. knew what snake eyes was going to get you. Exactly. Awesome. But guess what this means? Houston, Texas next week. I'm out of dare dice. And Rolla gets to pick the punishment. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. So uh, we're going to get these. Uh, we're going to get it together. She's <laughs>